Well, good morning. It's been a while. I haven't uh, released any videos for almost two months. Last thing I released, I believe, was the Wapak Trail in January. And here it is March. So it's early to mid-March and I'm at the parking area across the street from the Zeeland campground getting ready to do a hike that this is like my fourth time to attempt this one. Um, all the others have been canceled due to weather, but today the weather looks really good. So the plan today is to go up Mount Hale and then take the Lendahan Trail across to the Zeeland Hut. We can drop off all of our overnight gear there and then go up and bag Zeeland, stopping at Z Cliff for the beautiful views there and then spend the night at the hut and then we'll hike out tomorrow morning. So this one's been a long time going and I've got a new hiking buddy, Brendan. He's getting his stuff together and we're raring to go. Been looking forward to this for a very long time. So come on, let's go check it out. about a three mile road walk though in the snow it was quite a nice little walk but we were making really good time now we're on the actual trail up this is the Hale Brook Trail and Brandon needed to put on his winter pants because his snowshoes were flinging snow all up the back of his legs so we're stopped here but this is so quiet and peaceful. It's one of the nice things about hiking in the winter. But you can see that the trail is pretty well traveled. So, should have no problem keeping track of the trail. 2.2 miles to Zealand, and then we head down the Lendahan Trail. So this traverse is a little sketchy. Every now and then you can look and you can see where somebody's snowshoes kind of slipped off the edge a little bit. Trying to keep a pole in at all times to give me something to dig in with. See, there's one, somebody collapsed it there. And you try and step over those soft spots, but Sometimes that just means you step in a different soft spot. Definitely taking our time along this section. Of course, the good news is if you do slip down there, the trees aren't very far. You just hope you're not moving very fast when you hit them.
looks like that treadmill had to change out a battery. 25, which means it's probably actually closer to 20. That's going to be cold. Ah. Yeah, that's cold. <laughs> you can see the sun kind of melt in the snow and it's sublimating. So there's like a mist coming off the trees. You can kind of swing around face up. There you go. So you can see the towers at the top of Washington. And you can see the cog going up at Not today. But this summer. Um, you doing Mount Washington this summer? Sorry. I'm, I'm going to do the entire Frazies. Yep. Is that one you were talking about? Yep. 16 mile day. checked yes, sir. now let's get to the hut and get some lunch and it looks like we are breaking trail the entire way That's tough. but at least it's downhill But yeah. Casualty. Ah, let me get over here. So, the part where the 
foot strap connects. We don't know if it came unscrewed or what, but we are not there anymore. So he's got some paracord. I got a knife. We're going to try and uh, do an improvised field repair for now. Because this, this deep snow, it's hard enough with snowshoes, but without them, it's brutal. Even with me breaking trail, he's still sinking like about six, eight inches. Not nearly. Yeah. We hope. We hope. My main worry is that with your foot right there, yeah. that it's, I mean, it's definitely an improvised fix. It won't last forever. Yeah. It, would, it will eventually cut through that. Hopefully that will be at least enough to get us to the hut. Maybe even enough to get us back to the car tomorrow. Better one arm than down the back of my neck. I think whoever did this came the other way. Yeah, they were coming up land a hand instead of down it. I think. Could be wrong. Okay, time to ski. Did it break? Oh. We are here at the Zealand Hut. We finally got off the Lendahan Trail. Uh, lost, well, didn't lose, but one of my batteries died and I just, there wasn't a good place for me to stop and change the battery, so we didn't get any more video between here and there. So once we got here, of course, we got settled in and got some lunch. But we broke a, we broke the trail. We broke a snowshoe and had to repair it. And we lost two baskets on Brandon's trekking poles. So it was a uh, 
it was a rough hike. So hopefully the people who come behind us on Linda Hand appreciate the fact that we broke out the trail for them because it was rough work and lots of spruce traps. We kept falling into things and I mean we got here eventually but I was never so glad to see a trail as I was to see Twinway and to see that it was well broken out. So now we're going to be we're going to stay here at the hut for the night because we just don't we got it took so long to get here and it took so much out of us that we want to take the opportunity to rest we're going to try and well, we're going to see how we feel in the morning and maybe nail gail or excuse me zealand in the morning and if not well we'll just head down and trek on out so we'll see how things go and what it feels like in the morning but for now, we're just hanging out at the hut, enjoying it, and we'll go from there. Good morning. It's day two of our Winter Wonderland Hale Zealand hike. We did not do Zealand yesterday, but this morning we woke up and legs are feeling recovered. So we're going to hit it today trail should be broken out all the way up so looking forward to it you ready to do this let's go let's do it go all the way out the hut was an interesting night i didn't sleep very well brandon said he slept better than he does at home <laughs> I was afraid I was keeping people awake because I put the air mattress up top of my mattress that was on there because the mattress is very thin and I was bottoming out. But when I did that, I discovered two things. My extra long air mattress for my extra long hammock was longer than my bed so I had to like fold the end up and then it made a lot of noise every time I moved I got some sleep but it wasn't a good solid eight hours so we thought we were doing all right but this first section's pretty steep Brandon's hips are hurting and I'm like out of breath and we're a hundred yards from the hut so we're just going to hike out and come back and hit Zealand another day because the mountain will be there. So let's go. Alright, we're here at the trailhead. It's just about a four mile road walk from here, so good easy trudge up the road. Recently, I've been watching a program called Expedition Overland. Uh, four wheelers driving the Pan American Highway. It was kind of neat, but one of them said something that really struck me. He said, Adventure is the respectful pursuit of trouble. The problem is that trouble rarely finds us when we expect it. Trouble usually finds us in our area of weakness. You know, we really struggled yesterday with clearing that trail. And as a result, that was our area of weakness. And so we didn't do Zealand. We got hail, and that was my first winter 48. And 
his first winter 48 as well as his second 48. So long journeys ahead, but it's, it's always good to test your limits, but to do it in such a way that when you find those limits, it's a failure, but not a catastrophe. Well, that's my trail wisdom for the day. Now it's time to do that. to the road. It's been quite the adventure, but we're both tired and looking forward to some lunch. Thank you for coming along. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a blessed day. Azimuth out.